This is Singapore Tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jill Newbronner. Tonight's top stories. Singapore looks to harness the power of the sun. The target is for solar power to meet 2% of energy demands by 2025. To power our green efforts, Singapore looks to import electricity from Malaysia under a two-year trial. Industrial estates get cooler and greener by planting trees. Singapore to triple the number of trees in a decade. Only a few clinics have been affected by the suspension of two flu vaccines. The move follows reported deaths in South Korea. And weighing just a little more than a can of Coke, a look at the trials and tribulations of Singapore's tiniest baby. Steve Lai. In the region tonight, emergency talks for Malaysia's ruling coalition. Party leaders are discussing if the Prime Minister should step down. Anti-government protesters in Bangkok gather outside the German embassy. I'm Elizabeth Neo with your Asia Business Update. And Singapore's industrial output jumps by nearly a quarter in September. It's the biggest gain in nine years. And China says he'll impose sanctions on U.S. firms involved in arms sales to Taiwan. The little red dot will have to get greener, from its energy supply to how it's stored. It's all in a bid to become a bright green spark, with ideas and applications to inspire more sustainable living around the world. Now, speaking at the opening of Singapore International Energy Week, Trade and Industry Minister Chan Chun Singh says Singapore will use three strategies to do this. For 